few hundred miles out in the North Sea and applauding NHS workers. But the staff here have an important role too. Fingers crossed the internet connection from County Durham to the Bruce platform works. Ask him to spell your name, you've got it on your top, haven't you? <laughs> John is from Sunderland. You know, we're out here doing a, 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 an important job to produce the gas, uh, which is helping provide the uh, power for the uh, NHS. That to us is a, a massively critical role that we play in the whole UK. We, we as a installation produce 5% of the UK's gas needs. And what's it like trying to maintain sort of social distancing? Because that must be now impossible at times. Some of it we can't do, uh, obviously depending on the jobs that the guys are doing out in the plant, uh, it would be virtually impossible to maintain social distancing, so we look at inside the accommodation more. Craig is from Whitley Bay. There so are fewer seats in the canteen, so we've had to stagger people's uh, dinner times, tea times, um, a bit more than normal. Um, obviously the, the tape on the, on the floors has stopped people standing up too close to each other when they're taking their food from, from the buffet counter. Um, just imposed that over the last few days, really, but just to encourage it. And are you originally from Teesside, are you? Yeah, I grew up in Thornaby. John is a technician. It's a rewarding job, but it's, uh, it's a long time to be away from home. Miss the family. With that in mind, how are your family doing? Is it, is it quite strange sort of phoning home and finding out what, what it's like back on the mainland? Yeah, um, I've got two little boys, obviously, who are out of school and at home now spending time with, with mum. Um, Caroline works at James Cook, she works in uh, theatres, in, in surgical care practitioner. So she's on the front line as, as well as myself, so trying to juggle it between the two has it's been it's quite tough, really. They must know a thing or two about coping with isolation. Guys, we're doing bingo, but we're doing it from the cabins via the TV and, uh, and uh, a certain messenger service, you know, so the, the, there is that advantage to doing that, so I recommend that people does that, you know, and keep us in touch with all the family and friends. If there's anything that you can do at home just to, to keep in touch with other people, that's, that's very, very good for your, for your mental health more than anything else. Sunrises, sunsets are fantastic, uh, you know, some of the seas are spectacular when it's rough. Jonathan Swingler, BBC Look North.